Six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour. From the launch pads at Kennedy Space Center, a rumble that means something is going into space. Houston now control. But from the pond in front of it, a rumble of a different kind. It's one these NASA biologists have come to expect, and they should. For six years, they've been yanking gators from the waters here. Nobody realizes that this study is really going on. It's kind of a, a good kept secret. Russell Lowers leads this team. They draw blood and urine from the alligators. Just like you or me going to the doctor, giving a blood sample real quick. That's what we do with these guys. Take a tissue sample. It isolates the RNA so later on they can extract it. And measurements. 37.7. Biggest animal I caught on the property was 370 or so centimeters and it was 12.4 feet. Kennedy Space Center sits on a 140,000 acre National Wildlife Refuge. The gators have the time and space to grow and be affected by the chemicals that come from decades of launching rockets. If you did have a, a major component that was in the environment or here on Kennedy Space Center, uh, we'd want to know about it because it affects the workers. The gators place at the top of the food chain means they're affected by it all. They eat mammals, they eat fish, they eat turtles, um, so they could contain all of the type of contaminants that we might be looking for. The samples go off to scientists around the world who are studying the effects those chemicals have on the animals and by extension, humans. 26.5. That's the why, here's the how. Scan the waters for one of the several thousand gators that live on the refuge. Reel them in, tape up their snouts, and settle them down. They're pretty docile once you get them up on the bank and you calmly sit on them. Rip off the tape, and the team says they always go back in the water. That's how quick and easy that is. For this group of NASA scientists who lucked into seeing it, it was an awesome sight and a coming together of the sciences that happen on the launch pads and around it. At Kennedy Space Center, Dana J. Fox 35 News.